So before the building process of my circuits, I found this very simple image on Google and I used it as my reference. My opa showed me this really cool thing where you take a battery and place it on steel wool. Steel wool is very similar to a filament in a light bulb. Special shout out to my opa for lending me the tools. Thank you. Alrighty, to start off the process, I sketched um, where the circuits would be on our board. Next, I cut the lights, and these ones are the green ones, and they didn't work. We ended up using white ones. So then, I wired them down, and that was really hard. <laughs> Next, we figured out how long we would need our tin foil to be. And so then, I folded it into small pieces, so that way it would fit on our circuit. Here, I'm finding the perfect drill bit, and once that was found, we could start drilling. We ended up using little boards for our to hold our batteries, so we had to use a drill so we could hold it together. We started placing the wires and everything was looking so good. Just to make sure everything looked good, we tested for continuity. As you can see, there are white lights on here. That's because we needed to change them because the green ones weren't working. So, we decided to use a hammer and a nail so that way it would the lights would stay in place and everything would look so good and perfect. And here it is, my beautiful parallel and series circuits. They look so good and I'm so happy with the way they turned out. Okay. Okay, so there's that one, that one, that one, and that one. So if I turn that one on. Perfect. Direct current goes one direction, positive to negative, through conductors such as aluminum foil or paper. In my circuit, paper clips, the wire on the lights, and aluminum foil were conductors. Wood and rubber are insulators, so the energy from the battery cannot pass through them. I use wood covered in aluminum foil, a rubber band, and a nail to hold my battery. Wood is an insulator, as I said, so the energy ran through the foil covering it, not the wood. 